Do you know what Republica Subska is? I'll explain. Let's first begin by summarizing the war in Bosnia. When Yugoslavia began to split apart, a referendum was held in Bosnia in 1992. 63.7% of the population voted, and of these, 99.7% voted for an independent state. Majority of the Serbs boycotted the referendum. It ended up with the Yugoslav army ruled by Serbia entering Bosnia as before in Croatia, to help the Serbs create their own territories. The Serbs in Bosnia then created their own unrecognized territory, which was named Republika Srpska, in English, Serb Republic. They also created their own army, and with the help of the Yugoslav army, which at that time was one of few of strongest armies, they managed to get all the best and most modern weapons that Yugoslavia had, and which were actually financed by all citizens' tax money. More than 100,000 people died in the war and according to the HOG and international communities, there were over 40,000 civilians. Of these, more than 4,000 were Serbs, 2,000 Croats, and more than 33,000 Bosniaks. In other words, over 82% of the civilians were Bosniaks, which is the kind of guy to who were the biggest victims. In 1995, and in order for the war planned, all three parties signed the Dayton Peace Agreement, which meant that the country of Bosnia and Herzegovina would have two entities. And that's where Republika Srpska comes in. It's one of the two entities. Well, since the war ended, Republika Srpska has always been working against its own country, Bosnia and Herzegovina, in the hope that the country would not be able to function so that eventually Republika Srpska could break out and gain their independence. Such scenery, however, is just an impossible nationalist dream. So let me explain why Republika Srpska will never be able to become independent. We can start with the historical aspect. Well, there's not so much to say. Republika Srpska was founded in 1992, at the same time as Fresh Prince of Bel Air and Meadows Place was recorded. To clarify the whole thing, it has no centuries old established history. But the country of Bosnia, however, was first mentioned in 948, in the Administrando Imperio, more than a thousand years ago why Republika Srpska is as old as a Volvo 960. Let's move on to logical thinking. There are dozens of regions in Europe that want an independent state, such as the Basque country, Wallonia, Lombardy, and above all, Catalonia. If Catalonia, that has been striving for independence for hundreds of years, and with a GDP of over 220 billion US, which is more than all the countries of the former Yugoslavia combined, cannot gain independence, how when then the Republika Srpska, where the average salary is 500 jewels a month, managed to do so? And, can you imagine what a domino effect it would have in Europe, if every single region were to become independent? Besides that, according to the Dayton Peace Agreement, the Republika Srpska is explicitly prohibited from seceding from Bosnia, and it is confirmed by International Court of Justice. This is where the saga should end, but due to constant nationalist rhetoric from Republika Srpska leaders, let us move on and explain the main reason why this entity cannot become independent. As previously mentioned, Republika Srpska was created during the war in Bosnia. How and why it was created is the biggest problem. As you can see on the map here, Bosnia was a diverse country. And during the war, the majority of Bosniaks and Croats were displaced by the army of Republika Srpska. For example, in the city of Visegrad, more than 13,000 Bosniaks lived there before the war. Today, there's not even a thousand left. In the city of Forcha, there were 17,000 Bosniaks. And according to the last census, there were 1,200 left. And of siblings as 27,000 Bosniaks, there's only 7,000 left mostly elderly, who moved back after the war. Even in the northern part, the majority were displaced. Polish demographer Eva Tabu used the northern Bosnian region of Pliador as an example of dramatic demographic change. She said that the percentage of Bosnian population dropped from 42.6% before the war to just 1% in 1997. And in the largest city in the Republika Srpska, Banja Luka, more than 75,000 Bosniaks and Croats were expelled, even though that the city did not have a day of war. A total of 750,000 and a million Bosniaks and Croats were expelled from their homes, from the territory, 
held by the forces of Republika Srpska during the war. Do you recognize the pattern for this whole situation? Ethnic cleansing. Can something that was created in the 90s and that conquered territory through ethnic cleansing become independence today? Well, maybe in the Middle Ages, but not in our time, when spaceships try to reach Mars and cars drive by themselves. And what should we say about the fact that over 500 mass graves were found in the Republika Srpska from the war? The absolute majority of all mass graves are right there. In the region of Priador alone, more than 57 mass graves of Bosniaks and Croats have been found. What makes it all worse is that in Srebrenica, for example, 95 mass graves have been found, and only 7 are primary, while 88 are secondary. This means that the bodies were exhumed, then put in another mass grave when it was thought that someone would find them. A sad example of this is the young boy Senad Beganovic, whose parts were found in four different mass graves around the town of Zvornik. Building a pool requires an excavator, several workers, a truck, and above all, a plan. What is then required to dig a 9 meter deep hole that extends 100 square meters? Yes, so big was the mass grave in Tomashica, in which 435 dead Bosniaks and Croats were found. Only 300 meters away from the villagers who lived there. Interesting that none of them saw that something so big was being dug. Can something that was created during the digging and hiding of mass graves become independent? Perhaps in a bad movie but not during a time when human rights are on the agenda in every country, authority and organization. There were also many concentration and internment camps in Bosnia, but even there, Republika Srpska leads with the largest. Such as Tenopolje, where it is estimated that more than 30,000 inmates passed through. And in Omarska, around 6,000 Bosniaks and Croats, mainly men, were held at the camp for about five months, in the spring and summer of 1992, hundreds died of starvation, punishment, beatings, and executions. Can something become independent that was created during? Yeah, you get the point. We must also not forget that in areas controlled by the army of Republika Srpska, 534 mosques and 117 Catholic churches were blown up in the largest city in Republika Srpska, Bajaluka where the Bosnian army did not even launch a single grenade, all mosques were blown up. While in the meantime Sarajevo, where the majority were Bosniaks, no Orthodox church was blown up, even though they went through hundreds of grenade attacks every day for almost four years. And do you know where Europe's only genocide took place after World War II? Well, in the Republika Srpska, the city of Srebrenica. These young Muslims were brought here by Bosnian Serb soldiers, a unit called the Scorpions. They filmed these pictures of their handiwork. Some here are already bloodied, and this man, Asmir, is aged just 16. Where were they, shoot Where were they shooting these individuals? Tilak. Blow. During the period of July 11th to July 22nd, 1995, 8,372 Bosnian boys and men were executed. Organizing buses, excavators, trucks, executing an average of 761 civilians every day for 11 days, and hiding 95 mass graves was an obvious event for the Court of Justice in Hague to rule that it was a genocide. <laughs> And Srebrenica was not the only place where thousands of people were killed. Executions took place all over Republika Srpska. In fact, the six worst massacres in the Bosnia War took place right there. In Priador, three to four thousand were killed. In Forcha, over two thousand seven hundred. In Visegrad, two to three thousand. And in the capital Sarajevo itself, more than twelve thousand people were killed during the siege. What happened in Republika Srpska during the period 92 to 95 is a shameful stain on the UN suit. The outside world was numb when Milan Lukic in Visegrad murdered hundreds of civilians. The outside world was numb 